Roan Mc Entertainment TV stick with us and stay forever. Ron and Z Entertainment TV. Uh, 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 uh. Stick with us and stay forever. Oh, 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 oh. What the Lord say mean is never lied. In the mighty name of Jesus, our soon coming King. Yes, this is Ron again tonight. I'm here. To worship God with you. I'm here to share with you. Yes. The word of God. Because. He's saying his word. That his word is sharper than any two-edged sword. Yes. It can cut through anything. Just the words. I know. You know. In Genesis. 7. You know. The Lord said unto Noah, Come do. Yes? And all of are put it this way. He said to Noah, Come, you and all of your children and family. Yeah? Come into the ark. Yeah, he told Noah to build a ark. Maybe I don't know if Noah did know what that ark is going to be and what is it about but what Noah did Noah built that ark yes Noah worked I think he worked day and night to build that ark you know that big boat he go to the bush and he cut the lumber and he nailed and nailed and nailed and he built that big boat. My be. I see in show. I don't know if it was if it was there in the Bible, but I don't really see it. <clears throat> when they say people mock him and jeer him, they laugh at him. Yeah, they call him fool, fool Noah. No, my be they would think that he was getting crazy. But what? He continued to build that boat. He knock and he knock. And when that boat finished, the Lord tell him what to do. And Noah didn't complain. Noah didn't make up his face and said, What to do in our what you know? Like some of us would. But what? And Noah, he, he listened to what the Lord said. And he did it. And it complete. When it complete, the Lord taking Noah and his family, telling to bring in all the animals by peer, the male and female. Yes, because the Lord have a plan. <clears throat> and the plan that he have, when that ship sealed, and the water destroyed the whole place. They still have these animals to, to, to breed up again and, and to replenish the hurt. Yes, he carrying animal by peer, the male and the female. That's showing that the Lord have a plan, just like he have a plan right now. Yes, because when he come that time, he come with flood. And he didn't like it. So he said, he's coming back. And this time he's coming back. Not with flood, but with fire. Because when he, dis when he destroyed, he hurt. And did lots of body that he see. He never comfortable about it. So when he come with fire this time, the fire will burn everything. I'm saying to you tonight, I know I was building the ark. Didn't know what was going to happen. But after I done build the ark, 
rain began to fall. The Lord told him to shut the door. I don't even think it's he who shut the door. The Lord shut the door for himself. But after the people started to cry, I said, Father Noah, let me in. He will get so soft-hearted. And let them in. But the Lord closed the door for himself. You see, on earth right now, We've been preaching day in, day out. We have been preaching and telling that the Lord is coming back again. He's coming back one day for his people. And we've been preaching and telling that repent and be baptized for the remission of your sin. We've been preaching and telling people that they must give their life to the Lord. Some of them mark us. Some jeer us. Some say the Lord not coming back. Some say I'll already come. But what? Remember Noah time. Remember the days of Noah. When people was mocking and jeering. And didn't have time to listen to his preaching. When he preach and tell them what the Lord said, he got to one ears and come to the other because they didn't want to hear. But it's coming a time. This time that coming is just like Noah time, just like in the days of Noah. You see, people was marriage and giving into marriage, drinking and drunking. They never have time to pray. What the Lord said to us was pray without season. He also said to us that if we ask for something and we don't get it in time, he said meekly wait and murmur not. He said to us we must not murmur. We must wait. We ask him for something. Just wait. When he sees fit to give us, he will give us. If you don't see it to give us, he won't be giving us. Because he's God and he knows most. He knows the best. He knows more than what we know. For he's a king of kings and he's a lord of God. So I'm saying to you tonight. Noah was preaching. Noah was calling. And the scripture said in seven days it's going to rain. But all the preaching, he was preaching in vain. No one find time to listen to him. No one find time to pray. But when that day comes, And people see rain began to fall. And the boat began to lift. Yes, and it began to lift. And the scripture told me that the water come up 15 cubits of the earth. So the ark lift and it began to sail. People with kind, Father Noah, let me in. Father Noah, let me in. But I said, too late, too late shall be their cry. Too late, too late shall be their cry. Mercy God and judgment come. The same thing going to happen. People looking for the Lord to come down and tell them to serve him. But it's not going to happen like that. We've been here preaching. The pastor will be here preaching. Deacon here preaching. Bishop preaching. Church member preaching. Even in the songs, you hear the word of God. And so many praise and worship songs there telling you to come to the Lord. 
We say all those weary ones. And so many people weary. So many people don't know what to do. So many people don't know what to say. But if you just come to the Lord, he will be there to help you. He is there to keep you. He is there to guide you. If you go and say, Father, forgive them for they know not what they have done. When they nail him on the cross, they put the spirit to his side. They put a turn on his head. And he still forgive people. He said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they have done. I'm saying to you, it won't be any more time. In those days, it was different from now. You never hear no one preaching. You never hear no one calling for you to come to him. You never hear no one calling her to call. And right now we see a lot of preaching. We see a lot of altar call. Pastor, deacon, evangelist begging people to come to Christ before it's too late. And people will be harden their heart and stiffen their neck. But I'm saying to you, this is a new time. Not the time like in nowadays. This is a new day, a new season. A fresh anointing. And if you just give your life to the Lord, if you just come to Him, He will change your life. If you just come to Him, He will give you a new touch. A new life. A fresh anointing in your life. The songwriter said, Touching Jesus is all that really matter. And a life will never be the same. There is only one way to touch him. Just believe when you call on his name. And if you touch him, your life will never be the same. Remember the woman with the issue of blood. He was suffering for so many years. And he just pressed. He said, if I could just touch the aim of Christ's garment, he know by faith that she will be whole. And he pressed and pressed. And he pressed and just touched the aim of Christ's garment. And she become healed. So I'm saying to you, the power of the Lord is strong. The power of the Lord is great. You see, a songwriter that touching Jesus is all that really matter. And your life will never be the same. There is only one way to touch him. Is to believe when you call on his name. And if you touch Jesus, your life will never be the same. Just like the woman with the issue of blood touched Jesus' garment. He didn't touch the actual body of Christ. He just touched the garment. Touched the aim of his garment. And her faith just Touch the aim of this garment and her faith makes you get healed. So I'm saying to you tonight, I'm saying to all my sinner friend and all my backslider friend, just give God a chance. Yes, the scripture says, if you have faith like a mustard seed, you can move mountain. You can tell the mountain to move and the mountain move. So I'm saying to you tonight, just give Jesus a chance. Give him a chance in your life before it's too late. Because a 
as I said in Noah days, it was different from now. You never have no lot of people preaching. It's just Christ who tell Noah what to do. And he was going around and preaching and telling people to come in the ark. And they were so disobedient. They didn't want to believe. But when it happened, it was sudden destruction. Judgment come. Mercy, God. Don't let it happen to you. Don't let Christ come and you leave outside. There was a song standing outside of Porter. We don't know when to call. And the next verse say, Oh, what an awful picture standing outside. Don't leave standing outside. Just walk in. And he was said, pray for me. Just a prayer may have change. And if you get a prayer, I know that your life would not be the same. I'm saying to you today, Christ is coming. He's coming again. No one knows the minute or the hour. But we know that he shall come. And the scripture says, come like a thief in the night. And no thief come to kill, to steal and destroy. But Christ come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Please hear my words. Listen to my words. Take them seed and sign. And when you take them seed and sign and believe in the word of God. It's not me who said it. It's Christ who said it. He gave man the inspiration to write that book. Yes? I already read that Bible. Right now, technology increased that the Bible is on the phone. It's on the laptop. It's on tablet. So everyone can read the word. Everyone can hear the word. And read them. And some people know the truth. And just acting like it's not the truth. But the word of God said, those who know the truth and do it not, shall flag with many strife. I can be preaching to you today and judgment come and I leave outside. So I have to live. I have to pray every day. I have to pray without season. But as I said before, no one know the minute not the hour when Christ shall come. But we know that we are in the last days. So many things happening. So many things taking place. And we know that most of what he's telling us in Revelation is taking place right now. And Revelation is the last book in the Bible. So I'm saying... I don't know when he shall come. But I'm saying to you, prepare yourself before it's too late. Prepare yourself to meet him when the first trumpet sound. Prepare yourself because people's life have been jumping out like flies. Like mosquito, but flies don't jump like mosquito. People be kill, killing mosquito. So I'm saying to you, no one know when they will die. So 
the pure self, the pure life, for the coming of the Lord. There is no repentance in the grave. And if you die tonight and you are not saved, you're going to hell. So I'm saying to you, from my heart to you, trust in God with all your mind and lead not to your own understanding. With all that we acknowledge him and he shall direct thy path. God bless you. God keep you. I love you all from my heart. Please remember to like, share, subscribe. If you want to hear more like this word, I'm not an evangelist. I'm not a pastor, not a deacon. But in my own way, I am a minister. And I'm ministering to you. I minister in some, and if I can minister in some, I can minister in words to you. Love you from my heart. God bless you. It's Ron Mark. Keep blessed. And remember to share with your friends. Share with others. Yes. Because I know that the word of God is not too much. And if I share the word of God, I'm going to come next time and I'll share it. And what I'm sharing is not from me. It's from the word. And you can share with someone else. Tell him Genesis chapter 7. Tell you about Noah and the ark. And he was building the ark. And he said in seven days it's going to be rain. And people would mock and jeer when he was building that heart. But in seven days, it began to rain. And he carried all the animal by pier. And it rained. And it rained. Yes. And God, when it, when it, when it rained, it sees everyone on that land is dead. Everything, everyone. And only what saving the heart was save human being in the heart and the animal as no one his family. So it is coming back. Time like this, we don't know who the Lord is going to speak to. You can speak to someone who you don't expect you will speak to. And you don't know. So if you hear someone sharing the word of God, no matter who, just listen to the word of God. A babe can share the words. Lord can use a babe to share the word. So listen to anyone who hears sharing the word. Listen to them. And get something out of it for yourself. There are many false prophets. But if you listen, just listen to the word, you will find the right word. Yes? And you will search the word for yourself. If you hear someone said, just like I'm telling you now about Noah, find the scripture and search it for yourself. And when you do that, you will know more. More about Jesus. He's your friend. Easier guidance, easier protection. God bless you in Jesus' name.